The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, broadcasting from Chicago, Illinois today, where they gr they take the river, the Chicago River, running through downtown. They dye it green, folks, believe it or not. There's that many Irishmen there. They dye the river with food dye, and it is bright. You should, it'll be on the news. They have, they have this huge parade, and if you can find an Irishman there, that is sober, you're going to be very lucky because it's going to be hard to do. Uh, I lived there for uh, three years, and my goodness, I mean, you just can't believe the uh, the excitement that they have for St. Patrick's Day there. Anyway, if the, I'm wearing a shirt with a bear on it, folks, because it's green. That goes back a long, long time ago, but uh, that's neither here nor there. We used to have uh, contests on uh, trading uh, pork bellies. Uh, their contest would last about a week. Who could, who could make the most winning trades uh, in a week in pork bellies with the dollar amount and stuff? And I won it a couple times and finished pretty good uh, the other times. But it was a lot of fun and it was uh, it was very exciting. Okay, now let's move on to something. That I show I showed the charts for the DAX and for the FTSE. They've had a bounce just like everybody else. They're both still in bear markets. They're having, you know, recovery rallies is what they're doing, as you can see from the ABCD patterns. But we need to focus. Oh, I want to cover a couple things first. Uh, here was I just wanted to show you when we were talking about uh, some of these stocks that are making near bottoms yesterday, just what's happened to them. Here's the one for Alibaba. I, I think it's a whole lot higher than that. That that you know, I don't know what it was doing today. But it was uh, uh, higher. I know it was, uh, I don't know, it was up 18% from the bottom, which was well, actually more than 24% from the bottom. So that's a you know, big, big rally coming off that. And, of course, it was very oversold. You can see you know, the big ABCD that measured to a 71. Uh, that pretty much hit it exactly, and now it's had a good rally. What you would want to watching for now is uh, what the 382 rally is going to be off of that last high. Uh, I'll, I'll look at that a little bit later. Also, uh, we were looking at the uh, chart for ARC, Kathy, uh, I think Kathy Wood's uh, uh, company, and I wanted to, I, hey, I don't know nothing about these. You just folks asked me to look at them, so I'm bringing them up. And you can see here, uh, th there was a three-drive pattern, very nice, you know, it was set up pretty nicely, went down and had a pretty good rally. Now, this rally is important, but more, what's more important, folks, if we go below these lows that we made the uh, two days ago, Boy, look out, because that is, uh, you know, that is not going to be good. So that's pretty much it. Okay, now let's uh, uh, talk just a tiny bit uh, about the uh, euro. I wanted to show you because we're getting ready to break out in the euro. Uh, let's get this up here, which means it's very good for the gold. Hold on one second here. We'll get this up here. There we go here. Okay, we've had this great pattern in the year. Look at this, folks. We got the, uh, where's that little mouse working here? Oh, here, it is. I got to find it because it's so tiny on that chart. I can hardly see that double. There's your A, B, C, D. Where is that little? Well, there it is. It's so small, I can't even see the darn thing. Oh, I got, I see what it is. Okay, there's your A leg right here. And you come down to your B, C, D, a, B, C, D, right there is your D leg. Then you come down and you make it another A, B, C, D. And now when you break above this level here, right there, folks, where we are right now, that tells you that we're probably going to go a lot higher. That's a completed pattern. It backed off about uh, 40 pips. And uh, just a few minutes ago, my alert went off saying that thing had taken that out which means that it, this is getting ready to go higher. We see this when we look at the dollar index. If you'll give me one second here to bring up the dollar index, I will have it ready for you here because this is going to be affecting 
what gold is doing, and we have started a bullish campaign in the gold. And uh, where is the DXY? Please show me where you are because I, there it is right there in front of me. This is what's very important, folks, from our perspective, looking at these charts. Uh, I did a – hold on. Let's get this up here again. Okay, and here is the DAX index. There it is. Uh, okay, we have, you see where we are here, folks, with this uh, – Right in here. This is the spot where we. I want to figure out have how to make this uh, uh, arrow bigger. But you can see there was a 61% retracement on the weekly. We are now below it, folks. That means it's validated that 61% retracement. Those last couple of weeks here could have just been emotional stuff, and now we validate it. The second thing is maybe this is just a little fake out, and then we go higher. But it doesn't look that way based on looking at the euro and looking at this. Now, if that's the case, that is very, very bullish for the gold market because when the dollar weakens, okay, when the dollar weakens, gold is, that's the ex one of the excuses for gold to go up. And I don't think it needs a whole lot of excuses. But let's take a look at this gold market here, folks, from yesterday. This has been a, you talk about a market that, you know, follows the plan. Let's just get this up here to uh, see what, uh, Hold on just a second here, boys and girls. I have to, it takes me. It, this program is actually pretty good. It just takes a little bit more time getting used to. But here's here's where we are. You see that beautiful. We had the beautiful ABCD down here at 1911. The 61 percent retracement was trading at 1895. You know, what I suggested was, you know, uh, put your stop right below that. It never got below it. However, what I did do is after we had a $20 move in our favor, I moved my stop to break even because of the Fed being out there that day. And, of course, then the market dropped and, you you know, you, you would have been sitting with about a $1,700 loss for about 10 seconds. And then, of course, it ran from there. But there's going to be a really good chance to get in this. I, I'll, I'll repeat it here once probably won't make a whole lot of difference but buy that first a b c d move on a 15 minute chart just buy it put your stop in risk 12 dollars and you, i don't even think you're going to have to pray on that one i th this one's really got a really good chance of making new highs and if you measure the a b c d on that it measures to 2200 so no, actually or excuse me uh yeah 20 no 2270 is what it measures to uh, in the price of gold. And if we can get Bitcoin to 65,000, we can get gold easily to where that should be, you know. So that's it. Based on the money supply, gold should be at about 28,000 anyway. But that's not uh, that's not the way it is right now, so we don't have to worry about that. But that's what that gold looks like. It's extremely bullish. Extremely bullish. Uh, by the way, my guest today is going to be Shane Smullyan of the wolftrader.com and and I have a uh, he always has some really good stuff. I, I hope uh, you mean you can't see the charts. I mean, uh, aren't you not seeing the charts? Copy that, please. Somebody let me know. I, I haven't heard anybody uh, saying that you can't. Oh, good. OK, well, you can see the charts. That's good. That's all I really need to do is get these charts up so you can see what we're watching here. So let's take a look at the other part of this, which is also very bullish. And this is one we were, we're watching on and it fit absolutely perfectly in with the, uh, the buy yesterday. And that was in the silver market. We'll get this up here. You'll see. Perfect. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're going to take a look at the platinum market here. You can see here we've had this bottom. Uh, you, you can see the ABCD and the beautiful ABCD right up here, exactly to the 61% retracement. We drop a huge amount, folks, you know, 100 and some dollars per ounce in platinum, stopping exactly at the 61% retracement. You can see the low that we made here just yesterday, right there at that 61% retracement, right there. And now someone's asking the question, is this a head and shoulders pattern? The answer is yes, it is. And the reason why is the right shoulder is higher than the left shoulder, actually by a huge amount. That's when we made the bottom back in here. And then also the time distance between the two is very, very similar. So you have both of those lined up that tell you that that's what the formula is for the head and shoulders pattern. Time and price have to come together in with it with a high degree of harmony in other words these they should be very very close and they should be uh, acting pretty well but this one has something special and i haven't drawn in but i'm going to show it to you now if you take the high that we made way back on the left side of the chart and then you draw it through the next high and then bring it back it's going to take you to exactly that low that we made yesterday folks and that's a 20 minute line that's like a it's like a fulcrum that you know getting ready to send something into outer space because this thing could this i'm i'm basically very bullish gold and silver but this is also bullish for platinum and uh I, I think, what, 10% or 15% of the world's platinum comes out of the Ruskies, but uh, I don't know if that's going to be make any difference because no one's buying anything from them now anyway. So that's why uh, there's a lot of reasons to be bullish, uh, the, mainly the chart patterns. Second thing is the political things that are going on, and the third thing is the fact that uh, we have the U.S. dollar index is starting to weaken, and when the dollar index weakens, that helps the uh, market for the, the gold market, uh, you know, to go higher. That's one of the reasons why we had that big bull market from 76 through 1980 is we had the inflation plus we had the dollar getting trashed. We had interest rates. Uh, believe it or not, T-bonds were uh, yielding 12%, folks. Can you imagine that? 30-year bond was yielding 12%. It was trading at 56 when it came on the board in the 19. 
1976. So it's come a long way since that time. But that bull market it ended, it, you know, just about two years ago when it hit that 180 level, and now ever since it's been it's been backing off, uh, you know, quite a bit. Now I wanted to uh, bring up uh, one other chart here that uh, we talked about yesterday. Let me get this up here. Uh, hold on. Just give me it take me just a little bit of time to pull this one up, folks, because we here it is right here. Here's what I wanted to show you. This is the chart. <clears throat> this is the chart for the uh, crude oil that we've been watching on an interday basis. Okay. This has been this is the last several days up up through yesterday. Now you'll notice that we've had these three eight two retracements all along here. Okay, then we came down, we make the huge A B C D pattern down here at ninety two. Okay, we're now trading $10 higher, folks. And uh, that means that that bottom is very, very important. We've rallied 10 bucks. We went from 92 to almost 103 today in, in just a day. So that tells you that's in a very, very important bottom. We were looking for the big bottom to come in around 90, but it's missed that by $2. So that bottom is in and it's getting ready, you know, to go a great deal higher. So uh, that's... Uh, just keep that in mind that uh, this thing with the oil is uh, is uh, not over, and uh, I, it may be over. Maybe the big top is in. You know, I'm not 100% sure of that. But here's what what we were originally looking for. I'll get this up here so you can see that we missed the bottom by just a little bit, just like we did in the uh, uh, Dow and the S and P and some of these others. They didn't get it, but you see the big A B C D. We made a high at 130 and change. We come down, make a perfect 382 up there at around 117, I believe it was, and then from there, you know, it just dropped. Uh, no, it was 121, and then you drop, drop like a rock, you know, and it should have got. See, it went far below the A B C D. Uh, on that, no, no, it missed the A B C D on that one. Only got to 92, I believe. Uh, 92 was the low. It should have gotten to 90. So, yes, that's correct. 92 was the low, and uh, it should have got to 90. And so that tells us that this market uh, has already turned, and we're going to see, uh, you know, what's going to happen. But the main thing is is to keep an eye on that uh, that gold market, folks, because you get a good break, you, you want to be looking to be a buyer. It's got so much stuff in its favor to do that that it's just really, uh, you know, really – you know, incredibly uh, important. Now, I want to take a second here to talk just a little bit about the bonds because we were looking for the possibility here uh, this week if the bonds were going to hold and make this, uh, you know, head and shoulders pattern. And you can see here when the Fed came out, they just shattered that and we went down into made new lows. Now, that sets up a, a price level, folks, of the ABCD that we've been waiting on the long term weekly. Believe it or not, that measures to 129, folks, and we got bonds trading at, you know, 150. So when that thing goes closes below 150, it's going to be heading to 120, 129. So watch that. That's very important. Both of these rallies here that we had here were equal. They had 10 point rallies right here. We went from 151 up to 161. This one also rallied uh, 10 points. And now we've broken below that. That sets up a monster ABCD. The Fed is in there. What I, what I, I listened to, the, to it a little bit yesterday because the market was, you know, the market gave up 700 points in the Dow and then took it right back, 1,400 point swing in just about uh, four hours. So I wanted to see what was going on. And Mr. Uh, Powell, which is his job, was telling it how every wonderful everything is. But when the economists that were asking him questions and they talked about it afterwards, not one economist agreed with what he said. I mean, that, <laughs> they, I, I, I never heard that before, but that's in, case, that's in, in fact the information that you have to understand. Though, you know, th those of you that were around during the Greenspan years, he had, a, he had a favorite quote. His favorite quote was, he, he says, if you can understand what I'm saying, he said, I ought to reinstate what I'm saying. In other words, he didn't want people to know what he was really talking about. He talked in riddles, and he always did that. Uh, one of the most important things about Greenspan is his best friend was uh, Bob, uh, oh dear, from Citibank. 
Oh, the Secretary of the Treasurer. Oh, I'm going to remember it here in a minute. Anyway, he would go to he would go to lunch with him, uh, you know, about twice a week, and I'm sure he never mentioned like, uh, you know, don't be uh, don't be short the uh, S and P today. Like they would share information like that. Of course, we already know they did because two of the Fed governors this past year had to resign for guess what, folks? Trading on insider news. Can you believe that? Shut the front door and raise the rent. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But what does make sense, in about another five minutes, we're going to have our good friend Shane Smolian, the WolfTrader.com, as our guest, and he'll have some really good information for us. And I think that Bob Rubin, there you go. Thank you so much, Billy. Yeah, Robert Rubin. And then when Rubin was at Citibank and they got into big trouble, he guess what happened? The Federal Reserve came in and, and took $4 billion of bad Mexican debt and took it under the books and just ate it because it went bankrupt. So a $4 billion gift to SETI Corp for Bob Rubin and Alan Greenspan. you got to love it. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we are having as our guest today, Shane Smolian, the WolfTrader.com. Are you there, Shane? Good afternoon, Larry. How are you today? Well, just living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass, as always. How's everything That's down in sunny Miami Beach? 
It's it's good. It's uh it's raining today, but it's you know we can't complain about the weather. It's we've been yeah. pretty nice down here. Seventies, eighties during yeah. the day. Well, well, that's really good. Thanks for sending me the video with uh, Jackson. Uh, his uh, his son Jackson is uh, shooting free throws already. For how old is he anyway? He's eight. He's he's seven. Seven years so, old and he's shooting free throws. I couldn't believe that he yeah. made it. My God, I was I was shocked. <laughs> yeah, we go we go every good. Sunday and we we do some type of activity and we've been doing basketball yeah. lately. So he's he's really into basketball. He loves the Miami Heat and he's oh, all into good. it. So. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, why don't you tell us what we're looking at? I was particularly interested in the gold market. If you have anything about the gold, because I know you've been bullish on that, I just wonder if uh, you know if you if you if you still feel that way. And tell us what you're what you're seeing, if you could. But go ahead, whatever you got. Sure. Well, it was interesting that you brought up Alan Greenspan today because yeah, that he was confusing to understand because you know the signs of these Fed shares are very interesting because it plays into the theme of how they. Uh, how they interact with the market. So Greenspan was Pisces, which is Neptune, and Neptune is famous for being confusing and you can't understand what's going on. And when Mercury is with <laughs> Neptune, it's just the communication, it's just all over the place. And he was all big into the bubble baths and he's a water sign. So it kind of played out <sighs> to his sign. And um, the next one, next one that we had, uh, Ben Bernanke was Sagittarius, which is Jupiter. Now Jupiter is expanding and Jupiter prints monies and Jupiter drops money from helicopters. And, and so he, he was the perfect Fed chair for that time of the financial crisis in 2007, 2008. And then, of course, uh, Sagittarius is very nimble and can think in quick uh, turn on the dime, which he was able to do. Uh, so he was perfect for that time. And then Yellen came in, the Leo. And she just kind of the queen bee. She kind of held the course, and now we have uh, Mr. Powell, Mr. Aquarius, in there. Uh, so, very interesting. I study the charts of these Fed chairs. I, I think it's fascinating. And so, but yeah, it's a, he he was Pisces, and Neptune uh, Greenspan was Pisces. So Neptune is famous for that, for being confusing and not being able to know what what is being said. Okay, can you see the chart here with the taper? I think we should be okay. Okay, have, so so let's talk about where we are right now. Um, we're at zero, guys. We're at D-Day here. The, the, the QE is over, uh, and so this is important. So we're, we're starting a cycle now. Of, we're ending QE. We're tightening, and they're going to talk about reducing the actual assets soon. Uh, this is not good for the markets. If we go back and study since 2009, uh, the, you know, I look at many different Fed operations, okay, not just QE. But when you look at the, the, the totality of this and where we're going, uh, this is not good for markets. So, uh, you know, we have to look at it through the lens of this because this is really the controlling uh, the markets in terms of liquidity. And, and since 2009, this is the modern Fed era. We have to look at these Fed operations. It's no longer just interest rates, you know, raising and lowering interest rates. And that's that's the old school way of looking at it. We have to look at the new modern uh, viewpoint of the Fed. So we're at zero. Uh, so this is this is really uh, not good for financial markets. Now, I do want to show, show something here. This is a planetary stelium index. Now, this is really, really interesting. Uh, we're in the middle of a stelium right now. There's 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 going to be four peaks. Uh, we are. So this is the S&P down here up here. This is the planetary stelium up here. Now, each of these peaks of the stelium corresponded with a rise in the S&P. This was the December rally back into here. Then the stelium falls down into here into January. The market falls down into January. And then we go up into February with the stelium peak. Now, the interesting thing about this is that this is a pretty strong stelium, but it's, it's spread out over a few months. There's going to be four peaks. There's another peak coming up at the end of April. But we are currently at the largest peak right now. So if you look at three, uh, letter three, number three here, we're going to go down into the number four uh, on the S and P. It corresponds with it beautifully. Um, it's a, it's really amazing. I mean, this is this is a very powerful, powerful astro indicator because we're looking at multiple planets. Now you can notice here that it's rising up here into this number five here. And the charts did come up. We had a very powerful two day rally off the lows here. Uh, but we are approaching the peak now of this 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 uh, third peak of the stelium. So a couple of things I want to point out. Number one, it's been following the general path of this, but we are still in a downtrend. And so uh, you would have thought that with this being the strongest peak, 
that the S and P, you know, if this was a bullish scenario, it it should have been up higher. You know, it's kind of like gold should have been up higher since COVID during all of that inflation, and it just it just couldn't. I mean, it's catching up late now. It's late to the party, but the S and P, uh, it did have a very powerful two day rally here. But this is a very important peak coming up here. This is coming up around this weekend. There's going to be one more uh, in late April, and then that's it. So I think that this stelium has has kind of acted to slow down the decline uh, and make it kind of into a slow motion train wreck, so to speak. Uh, so you know this this is just phenomenal when you look at how the S and P has traced this out. It, it, be it it's in a downtrend, but it's still caught these big movements of the planets. Uh, so I'm going to show you a, a picture here. This is the actual uh, natal chart, the radix chart that we have today. So we're getting near peak stelium right now. A lot of astrologers are talking about this because this is a lot. There's a lot of conjunctions right now, and a lot of times this marks the beginnings of new cycles, uh, and and it allows us to go to play. And there's not there's no there's not too many retrograde planets, so it allows us to go to places we haven't been before. It's it's kind of taking us wow. to new and exciting places. But the conjunctions here are what I want you to look at. And so this is wow. indicative of a market high. This is a, a market high scenario. Shame. Yeah. Th this looks like the exact uh, copy of uh, March 9th of uh, 2009. It's very similar. Now, very similar. This, I mean, everything's lined up in, in each of the houses. I mean, that's, yes, that's so, incredible. So, so exactly. So now steliums are they typically are they're positive events. Usually they mark highs, but if the market is declining and the stelium comes in March 9th, it can mark a low, okay? So it depends on the context of the situation, but we are declining now, uh, and so the market's rising into this, okay? So uh, I'm still interpreting this as a bullish look for, uh, sorry, a bearish look for the S&P. I think that these planets are drawing up the S&P. You can go back here on this chart again. I'm going to go back and show you this red graph up here is the stelium building in strength uh, and a lot of conjunctions down here is the S&P. Now notice, even though the bounce was very impressive in the last two days, and it was, uh, it's still rather timid compared to the whole downtrend, okay? So when you have a stelium that is this powerful, you would have expected it to draw the market up a little bit more than it has. So I just want to point this out. There is an astrological basis for this. Of course, we had the Fed meeting and all of this hype going on, but the big picture in terms of the Fed is bearish, and this is signaling some type of a high. Now, again, there's another one coming. This, this is a very long, drawn-out stelium. Okay, It's been happening since December. Once that last one hits after next month, there's no more stelium. And then you've got a Fed that's tightening. So this is there's going to be a lot of headwinds for the S&P uh, coming up here. So I just wanted to, to point this out. Oh, this is really, I, I really have a strong interest in this. Hey, thank you very much. Stay, stay with us. We got some more sure. of Shane Smolian. We'll be right back, folks. 877 927 6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. So we're talking with Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. You want to continue, my friend? Sure. So this, we're at a stealing. We're at a peak. There's going to be one more coming at the end of April, and then that's it. S&P still in a downtrend, although it did have an impressive rally off the lows yesterday. Uh, so we're watching this. Now, if we keep going here. This is a, a view of the downtrend. This is an intraday downtrend. Uh, it's had five touches and rejections. Now, there was a one time where it comes off here and then it doesn't fake out, falls back down. Uh, and it's obviously it's breached through this downtrend now, but it's, we don't know yet if it's if it, if it is able to if it's able to uh, move past this downtrend yet. It was actually forming another stronger downtrend. So, again, this is this is the Fed meeting here. So we're just waiting to see how this resolves uh, going forward. But this is still the burden is still on. Uh, the, the bulls at this point because we do have a very strong downtrend in place and it's very hard to change these uh, so if we now if we had the fed increasing qe i would say hey you know uh, this could easily come off the lows here but we don't we have the opposite happening we have tightening we have headwinds and if we go back and study the market since 2009 there's really no good outcomes when that occurs now this is the nasdaq the nasdaq comes into this death cross here the 50-day moving average crosses below the 200 here this was back on march the first so the nasdaq is leading as bitcoin leads also which i'll get into a little bit of that with the bitcoin versus gold uh, but this is still look this still looks pretty pretty clean in terms of the downtrend uh on the on the nasdaq and so we got to watch that s p just gets into this death cross uh, a couple days ago even though it, and it does have this very impressive move off the lows here uh, but again, when we look at the big term picture, the burden is is definitely on the bulls to prove that they could get this up. And again, since 2009, really, really tough to do that uh, in this type of an environment. Now, one more chart I want to show you here. This, these are the Fed internals here. Uh, you can see the S and P uh, is is just persistently making these lower lower lows, lower highs. Uh, now, you can see here that the QE is ending. You can see that it's, we're getting this stiff drop now. Uh, in the Fed internals. And so as the QE ends, uh, you, the Fed internals are going to start to fall. You're going to, and, and this is going to put more downside pressure. So this is really like the liquid fuel uh, for the market here. And so now that this is getting cut off, I think the S&P is going to have uh, some struggles here going, going forward. Now you asked me about gold. So I did a webinar on gold versus Bitcoin. Uh, and I, I will talk about that again this weekend. This weekend, I'm going to talk more about strategies, but I talked about the, the comparison of the two. They have some similarities here. One of them being that they're both compete, they're both competitors for for uh, currency, and they do run opposite of each other. Uh, Bitcoin is a legitimate competitor; it's taking market share. I think this is part of the problem with gold not rallying more than it did. 
But when we go back and look at the big picture here, this is gold going back since 2008 here. You can see that this starts a negative divergence here on this normalized MACD. So the normalized MACD is an indicator that I've written to adjust for when prices double and triple. This isn't a negative divergence. These tend to resolve. Uh, now, this is a very long-term chart. Uh, this, this has been going on since, since 2008 over to here. But if it does resolve, uh, what that means is that gold will come back and all the way down here and test this 11, maybe like 1100 area somewhere into there. And um, I don't know if this will happen sooner or later, but these do tend to resolve. So I just want to point this out. So longer term, uh, I still think gold has a very, uh, a very strong negative divergence here. So uh, just pointing this out, it doesn't mean it has to happen. To, it could still go up first before it goes down, but I'm just saying this is not necessarily a positive picture long term for gold. Uh, if we look at the cycles here, this is a cycle that I have called the hottest cycle. Uh, gold has just topped on this cycle, on the hottest cycle. And so uh, I thought maybe it would top at the Fed meeting. It kind of made a, a short term low, but it's still it's still made a top. It made a, uh, So this is a, a near term top it's made. And then long term, I think. This could go back down to that 1100. Now, everybody has different feelings on gold, and some people feel it could double or triple. That's fine. I'm just showing you what the chart says. The technicals on this show that there is a negative divergence on that. Now, if we look at Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin has had a double negative divergence on the charts. So they both share that similarity that they both have these negative divergences. Uh, Bitcoin had a double negative divergence. This one goes back to 2018, back into here. Uh, and there's a, so there's a big one forming on Bitcoin here, going back to 2018, and then there was a there was another one forming here that just formed. You can see the second negative divergence here, and these things do tend to retrace. So if you look at this one here, uh, this is when Bitcoin was running all the way up here, uh, and we were saying we were expecting a high into that November area, and then the, the the divergence of this divergence here, this negative divergence here, you can see. It did come back and retrace that all the way to where that negative diversion started. So this negative divergence here has been filled, but there is still a much bigger negative divergence on Bitcoin, and that one goes down to about ten thousand. So wow. you know, I, I'm just pointing this out on the chart. These don't have to happen. It doesn't have to happen this way, but they tend to do that. They tend to go back and resolve these, and you you tend to get negative divergences on charts when you get wild hooks that aren't consistent. So for example, if Bitcoin had just kind of steadily gone up like this and built a base, you wouldn't be seeing this negative divergence here on the MACD. But because it did these wild hooks like this, when you get wild hooks, you get negative divergences. So they both share that similarity. In other words, they both share the fact that they have negative divergences to work out. I personally feel that Bitcoin will get there before gold. It'll, it'll resolve itself before gold. Uh, but gold here still still has that negative divergence. So we're talking about big, big picture here, uh, but it's there. And that's that's not necessarily good. Now, I do feel if gold comes back to this 1100 level, I think it'll be a very nice support level uh, for, for buying and accumulating. But the, the, the problem is that Bitcoin is taking market share away from gold. And that's a reality. We have to understand that fact. And, and gold should have gone up more during the, the financial Outcome. There's a there's a chart that I have here. Uh, this was um, this was right after the financial crisis here. And so what we can see here is this this is the queen mother of inflation here. This was not financial. This was after COVID. Sorry. This is right after COVID. This was in uh, 2020. And you can see there's three charts here. You have Bitcoin, you have gold, and you have the S and P. And this was a period here where I think gold had a chance to prove itself. Now people buy gold for many reasons. It has industrial components and jewelry and all this stuff. But they really buy it as a hedge against inflation and a hedge against market declines. Now, we can say that back in the 70s, it was a hedge against against inflation. But I don't think that's true anymore. I think it still hedges against market declines, but it's definitely lost a lot of its potential here. So let's look at this. This is now if gold, if it's true that gold is able to become this great inflation hedge during these times, then during this queen mother of all inflation after COVID, gold should have been going up. And what we see is we see the opposite. We see gold going down here and we see Bitcoin going up here. So I think this was a, a, a result of market share 
moving from from gold to Bitcoin, but I don't think gold is an inflation hedge anymore. And so we got to be really careful about this because we just make these assumptions like, oh, gold is safe and it's nostalgia. It's you know, gold is a nostalgia play. You know, it's safe. It's gold. It's, you can hold it in your hand. But I don't think it's going to hedge against inflation like it did. It does hedge against market declines. We've seen this. Re we've seen this nice little jog up in gold against market declines. But clearly, it is not hedging against inflation anymore. Hey, this is great. Thanks, Shane. Stay with us, please. We'll be back sure. with Shane Smolly and WolfTrader.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. Shane, I have a question from uh, one of our listeners, and that is uh, you, every once in a while you show the uh, Bradley model. And I w he was wondering if uh, maybe uh, you could show a picture of the Bradley model and where we might be within that model. Uh, it makes a high on 25th, I think, of March. It's like, okay. coming, it's like in the next eight days it's going to make a high. Okay, so I don't, I don't have it right now to show, but uh, it's it's, okay. it's it's still rising for about okay. another eight days or so. Okay, and the second question that uh, they have is uh, how, do, how do the folks reach you? And also you mentioned a webinar that you're going to have uh, soon, and, and are, are those for, for the public to see? Uh, yes, they're public. You can. It's a YouTube channel, wolftraderfutures.com, uh, and um, you, it's every Saturday we do something. So depending on what – people want to see we do different mm -hmm. topics last week i talked about bitcoin versus gold 
this week I'm going to talk about strategies, how to play Bitcoin versus gold, because I think the two of them are going to trade off with each other throughout as they try uh -huh. to re reach a balance. Uh, if okay. you want to reach me, uh, the web the website is uh, wolftraderfutures.com or fedjuice.com. Uh, you can just head on over there. And uh, if you get on the email list, I'll send you uh, updates with the webinars. But we're pretty much there every Saturday talking mm -hmm. about some, something new. Uh, I try I try to to change it up a little bit uh, and to mm -hmm. keep keep the information fresh and and, and interesting. Well, well, it's six days a week on Sunday. Do you lead every lead everybody in prayer, or do you take a day off? <laughs> Actually, we do a Zoom <laughs> webinar on Sundays too, where we talk about <laughs> trading systems, how they're doing. Uh, but that's more technical stuff. The, the YouTube is big picture stuff. I, I think it's oh. it's really just about education and. Uh, like I said, talking about different topics and just exploring and, and interacting with people and, and getting feedback from people. I think it's we have a good time with it, yeah. uh, and so we're, we're well, continuing to do can, that. You can hear it in your voice. You're a man with 24/7 because anybody that loves his job is on a permanent vacation. So that's great. Hey, listen, Thank we'll you. have you on again soon. And thanks for joining us, buddy. And stay safe down there and stay out of the rain today. Thanks, Larry. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. You bet. Okay, folks, there's a class act right there, Shane Smolian. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.